Hey guys, Ed Sikjanovsky and, and we're Ronnie in, Diamond. And Ronnie Diamond. We're Woo. in New York. We're about to do a meet and greet in Times Square. I'm so nervous. Woo. I'm pretty nervous too. Apparently, there are a lot of girls. Really a lot fast. of girls. Hey, Please. focus the camera on the back seat. No, no, focus we're on the front seat. We're nervous too. We've got to stop off and get Cheetos. We're not doing that. <laughs> what? We just got here this morning like at 4.30 a.m. Yeah, I haven't slept in 24 hours. <sighs> I'm, I'm fine. You haven't slept in 24 hours. We never know what to expect. Oh, I'm We're I'm always I'm surprised. Like, I know a crowd of 40,000. <laughs> his, his dad he's just dad one thing. He had an inside he's joke. teasing his dad. Well, we did a meet and greet once in Melbourne, and about 10,000 people came, and my dad looked at a photo, and he goes, there, you, there, there's 40,000 people here. I know a crowd of 40,000. And his dad wasn't even there. He just looked at the photo. I can't believe we're getting ourselves in this situation again. Thank God for traffic. Perfect. You can tell we're nervous when we're both fiddling with our fingers. They just shut 43rd Street down Sick. because a bus came up, Sick. a tour bus, and they thought the boys were on it, and they mobbed the bus. <laughs> we're going to pull to the side, and uh, Jimmy's going to let us know when it's good to come down the street. Wait, where are we going? What fingers. are we doing? What's the plan? Let's go. What do we do? Game's on, guys. Right, what do we do? Let's, get out. <laughs> Let's back up. We got to go back to around the corner and starts yelling he goes you've got two options you either leave right now or you get arrested and you so go to jail yeah we're all just like oh, it's pretty obvious um we're gonna go to jail uh... <laughs> So it's been about uh, two hours since the meet and greet and uh, we've got like heaps of phone calls from news channels and stuff and teams here are going to come interview us which is pretty sick. The news wanted to get us at Times Square like in front of the police station to do an interview on us uh, but the cops said to us if we go again they're going to arrest us and therefore we'll get deported and we don't want to do that so. We've done so many meet and greets now but it's a feeling you can never get used to like. I can't wait to tell my kids these I stories. Know. I tried getting up there and like because oh, really? I was in my car it was like impossible yeah. to even move. Times Square gets shut down very rarely, like maybe New Year's Eve, Super Bowl, and you guys officially shut down Times Square today, so tell me how the hell Woo! That I didn't know that! We came, there was a lot of people, we were there for our security time at seven minutes, and we got mobbed, so we had no choice, but the police had no choice but to shut it down. How many people were you guys expecting to come out? Honestly, I was expecting about a thousand people. Yeah, and how many would you say actually showed up? I think around six, seven thousand people. Six or seven thousand people. You guys aren't worried about like the police, anything like that? Like it's all good? Uh, uh we're not allowed to go to Times Square again. It was easy, nuts. Are you kidding me? There were so many people that we had to get through and we had to run. And we blocked off running? Times Square. We got, blocked off Times Square. We, we just want to let you know that we could never have gotten up to this point without you. And we do know that. Trust us, we do. And we thank you all so much for showing your face and coming out. So guys, thanks for coming. Love you guys all. And uh, we'll keep you updated with some big announcements soon. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha!